they look, I mean, identical to the real thing. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, February 2nd. I've got close to 20 eBay orders to ship out today. But before I get started, I want to tell you about something that happened last night. I had listed some Pokemon cards. I think maybe like six or seven of them. They were holograms and I don't know much about them. So I was going off of like the name and the numbers and everything. And I put them all up for auction. I woke up this morning and quite a few of them already had bids. If not all of them had bids because I started them all at a dollar. And somebody had messaged me, uh, two messages actually. And they were pointing out that... They were fake and they were telling me how they knew they were fake. Just giving me a heads up, which was really nice of them. I got these Pokemon cards, I guess it's been like two months ago. And there was like thousands and thousands and thousands of these cards. And I auctioned off, I think maybe like three or four lots, maybe five lots of 100 cards each. And those were all commons from what I understand. I really don't know that much about Pokemon cards. And I had a video of the cards, you know, showing all of them and everything. And I haven't heard back from those buyers. So I really hope those were not fakes because I just do not know that much about these cards. Apparently these right here that I listed that were fakes, let me go ahead and show these to you guys. They look, I mean, identical to the real thing. The eBay member said that the year at the bottom left is the giveaway. So like this card, for example, is supposed to be 2014 and it's 2016. Pretty big bummer. If these were genuine, I think they'd be worth between, you know, 15 to $50 each, depending on condition, but they are not real. So this is something for you guys to look out for if you're out there buying Pokemon cards. I'm not in the business of selling fake stuff, so I took all those down off eBay. I had a couple people message me, you know, wondering why they were taken down, so I told them why, and just lesson learned. So I'm really grateful that eBay member messaged me, giving me a heads up, and I'm also really lucky that I put those up for auction and not buy it now, because if some of them had sold overnight, I'd have to cancel orders, and I'd have a lot of unhappy buyers on my hands. All right, time to pack orders. Let's get to work. First thing we're shipping out is a plush right here. This is Kanga from Winnie the Pooh. I got this last year at Garage Sale. Only had to pay a couple bucks for it. Had it listed for the longest time. Wasn't really selling. Took a best offer on that for $15 plus shipping. Viewers Jenny and Joseph bought that. Thank you both so much for the support. Next is an A41. It is a Nintendo DS game. Let's see. I think it is this one right here. This is Mario and Luigi's bowser's inside story something i picked up in that big lot of games i got from the pickle resellers that sold for 11.99 free shipping and this game's going out to viewer named brady brady thank you for the business hope you like the game next thing is on the a2 shelf right here this is that garmin handheld gps that i showed you guys i just got in that big bulk buy i think it's been like two weeks ago now this was complete with the box had all the charging things and the uh, owner's manual that sold for 99.99 plus shipping next sale is a big one dollar wise and size wise it is this big budweiser metal hydroplane sign i just picked this up in that sports memorabilia auction last week i've got a little over 50 dollars into this it sold for 110 dollars plus shipping next thing is an e31 right here this is another one of those booberry banks i got in that big box of stuff that i paid 150 dollars for that sold for 34.99 plus shipping next is an e42 right here this is a sealed rock band 4 game for xbox one also something i got from the pickwell resellers that sold for 18.99 free shipping next is an a31 it is a Nintendo 3DS. Could not get this thing to power on, unfortunately, so I sold it as is, disclosed that I didn't think it could work based on my testing anyways, and it sold for $35, free shipping. And if you're named Michael bought this. Michael, thank you for the support. I hope you get this working. Next is in C52. Let's move this out of the way. It is three Nintendo DS systems. These were also all not working. Two of them would not power on, I think, if I remember correctly. One of them powered on, it would play a game, but it had some like dead pixels on the screen. So I just did one big lot of these. The three sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I'm going to take a break from packing orders and answer some viewer questions. First is from DM Crow. Does this happen to you and does it bother you as much as it bothers me when someone buys something and they take about three days to pay for the item? Yes, that has happened to me too and it is very frustrating. If you were listing something for buy it now, you can choose to make them pay when they buy it. So you can like make that little selection and when they do a buy it now, they have to pay right away. I think it's like 
require immediate pay or something like that as a selection. But if you're doing an auction, you can't do that. It, it just won't let you do it. Also, if you are sending an offer or if they send you an offer, there's no you know immediate payment requirement. Even if you've got that on there, it doesn't like, just like how the system's set up. So yeah, if you're doing buy it now, I like to select that option because it used to be that it would take two, three, four days, you'd have to open a case against them and like it would just drag out for like a week and it was just a big pain. So yes, I've had that happen and it's no fun. Next is from Montana Picker. He asks, I have a random question. How do you fulfill orders in a timely manner if you are gone for a week or more? Sometimes I work out of town and I'm concerned that I won't be able to ship within the three day time parameter. I learned so much from you. Love your channel. Thanks. So eBay actually has something called time away. What you want to do is you go into my eBay and you go down to like the bottom left corner. So scroll past your sales and all that stuff. I think it's at the bottom left corner. You can click time away and you can set it and you could be gone for two days, a week, two weeks, whatever, however long you're going to be gone for. And you can select whether or not you want your items to still sell. So eBay can like not allow anything to sell that way you don't have anything to ship when you get back or you can still sell items and ebay will alert the buyer before they purchase it will be like red you know big red letters on your items the seller is away until such and such date so that's how i do it whenever we go on vacation not that there's really any vacations to go on these days but hopefully that helps you if you guys have questions for me leave a comment below and i'll do my best to answer them in a future video x is in b21 it is this Toshiba VHS cassette adapter. Got about $5 into this. It sold for $29.99, free shipping. Guys, uh, keep an eye out for these. There's a lot of VCR cassette adapters and there's a lot of like VCR cleaners that are in the shape of, v of a VHS tape. So keep an eye out for those. They tend to do pretty well. Next is a lot of Hot Wheels cars right here. There's 20 of them all together. I've been doing some auctions for these. We got some Hot Wheels Racing, Greg Biffle. This one's pretty cool. Amazing Spider Man, Johnny Lightning. I started the auction at a dollar for these and they sold for $28 plus shipping. Next is a couple of baseball cards, both in A31. Let's see, they're both right here. This first one is a Gold Wave Refractor. I bought a box of uh, Bowman Draft. I guess it's been two or three weeks ago now and these are a couple of the autographs that were in it so here's a gold wave refractor of milan tolentino might be mispronouncing that he is a prospect for the cleveland indians that is signed and numbered to 50. i did an auction starting at a dollar sold for 98.85 plus shipping and also did an auction for this one starting at a dollar this is tyler soderstrom prospect for the athletics autograph number to 4.99 that sold for 135.50 plus shipping next is on the e1 shelf it is a Kyle Petty Cruise Choice. I believe it is this one right here. Yep, Kyle Petty. Sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a baseball glove or a softball glove, I guess it could be. Back here on the F rack, it says F3, which is an old inventory code. But I think it's this one right here. Yeah, Louisville Slugger. It's a 13 inch, so it could be baseball, it could be softball. I made sure I put baseball and softball in the title, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a winter jacket. Let's see. I think it is this one right here. Yeah, this is a Nike 6.0. It's like a ski jacket. I thought this at a garage sale. I guess it's been four or five months ago. I know it was kind of like around the fall time that I bought it. I paid $6 for it and had it listed for the longest time. Wasn't really getting any bites. I sent out a best offer to a washer for $28 plus shipping and they accepted. Next is something I just listed yesterday. Where's it at? Over here in F31. This is a hatchet that I bought and a big lot of stuff about a month ago. So I've got about $10, $15 into it. It is a true temper tomahawk. Condition wasn't great, but these things have some really good value and I didn't realize they did until I looked it up. Just thought it was a plain old hatchet. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Okay, last thing I'm shipping out is in F51. This is a big bag of Game Boy Advance games. Total of 20 of them. They sold for $29.99 shipping got a few things going out that i sold outside of ebay these are viewers that reached out to me via email first two things is this larry johnson and joe namath so this one's an ad i think this one's just like a picture those two sold for 15 dollars free shipping going out to lisa then we've got a big stack of like golf photos and ads 
Just a big variety of stuff. That's all going on to Rod for $30 free shipping. Sold a couple of these motorcycle patches to Jim for $15 free shipping. Then I sold a yellow Mustang diecast and a Pyrex Evenflow bottle. Is that the one? I have to, might have to go swap it out. I think she might have got the other Pyrex bottle. Either way, Jane bought that stuff for $30 free shipping. Lisa, Rod, Jane, and Jim, thank you all so much for the support. All right, guys, before I end this video, I want to do two things. I want to draw for postcards, and I want to open some viewer mail. If you guys aren't familiar, I do this once a month where I draw a postcard, and the winner gets to pick whatever they want from my merchandise store. So hats, shirts, hoodies, whatever you guys want. If you want to be entered, my address is down below. My P.O. box is down below in the description. Just send in a postcard and you will be entered to win. I try to do it every month. I think I missed it in January. So it's February 2nd. We're going to go ahead and pull two cards. One for January and one for February. All right. First one is Patsy Maloney in Mississippi. So Patsy, shoot me an email. My email is down below in the description. Let me know what you want from my merchandise store and I will send it out to you free of charge. And the second one is, let's see, Jennifer, Jennifer Seller. So Jennifer, email me as well. Let me know what you want. All right, I got some packages from viewers I want to open. First is from O&H Storage Treasures down in Georgia. We've got a note down here at the bottom. John, I've had this listed on eBay for a while, and as I was going through some inventory and saw this, thought you might like to have it to add to your collection. Damn. Oh yeah, I've seen these. It's a 1990 anniversary Stein from when the Reds won the World Series. Danny, I do not have this. Thank you so much. Okay, next is from Jason Dietz. He is in Pennsylvania. We've got a note right here on top. Hey John, I wanted to thank you for all you do for the reseller community. And close as a small gesture of my appreciation for what you do. What is better than a beer can and the Reds? I collect old beer cans and when I saw this one it had your name all over it. Thanks for all the great content and being an inspiration to start up resellers like myself. I'm only focusing on Facebook Marketplace right now but hope to move to different platforms soon. I have enclosed a self-addressed stamped envelope and was hoping that you would mail me a few stickers. Keep up the great work and stay well, Jason Dietz. And here is the beer can. Look at that really clean too most of the time when i see these they're like really rusted out so jason thank you so much and i've got your envelope right here i'll be happy to send you back some stickers okay next let's see there's an address but the name got covered up by the label so we'll just pop this open here see who it's from hey john love your youtube videos they've changed my yard sale shopping forever i wish i could do this full time i like picking at auctions and flea markets and you've given me new eyes. In close, please find some Reds cards and one of Steve Stone in the most hideous Chicago White Sox uniforms ever. Questions, when do you offer free shipping? Uh, free shipping, I only do with like first class mail, but I know I can predict what the cost is gonna be within maybe 50 cents or so. Uh, do you ever sell costume jewelry? Not a whole lot. I bought a ton, there was a ton of costume jewelry in those storage units I got last spring and summer. And I know nothing about it, so I just lotted that stuff up and sold it like that. I don't have an eBay store, but how long should I leave an item listed? Presume that the listing is free. That is a really good question. As long as there is track record of sales for that item and you think things are priced right, you know, you could leave it up for six months to a year, I guess, if you're, if you're shooting for a high price. That's something that I don't always like to do with most things, but it might take a year longer to sell. If it's something unique and different and you're waiting for the right buyer, like a yearbook, it could take two, three years plus. So that's kind of how you just kind of have to weigh out your options. Thanks, take care, and hopefully pandemic is over soon so we can get back to yard sales. Neil Schaefer. Neil, I hope I answer your questions. And if anybody watching this has advice for Neil, leave a comment below. Okay, so Neil sent some cards. There's that Steve Stone Chicago White Sox card he was talking about. Yeah, that is ugly. Let's see, we got Zach Kozar, Pete Rose, Joe Morgan, Eric Davis, Tom Seaver, Barry Larkin, a couple Barry Larkins, Ken Griffey, and another Barry Larkin. Thanks, Neil. Okay, next is from Lisa Paul in Texas. Greetings, John. We have watched your informative videos for quite a while and thought you could use these Scotty peelers in your daily business. Please accept this gift from one eBay seller to another. Enjoy. Sincerely, Jeff and Lisa. Scotty peelers. I've heard about these, but I've never seen one or used it. So I'm guessing 
this just like saves your fingernail. So if you're trying to peel something, this just digs away at it instead of breaking your nail. That's cool. I like that. Thanks, Jeff and Lisa. Okay, last but not least is from Doug Sido in Indiana. John, I saw these in a thrift store and immediately thought of you. I had to get them and send them to you. I know how much you love My Little Pony. Love watching your videos. I am a part-time reseller and have learned a lot from you. Thanks so much for the content you have in your videos. Enjoy the cards. Doug, full quiver tin on eBay. All right, I'm a little scared to see what's in here. Oh, wow. <laughs> there is a big stack of these things. All right, we have got a huge stack of My Little Pony cards. Oh, that is too funny. If you don't know what this is in reference to, April 1st, 2020, I did a video on my channel about how My Little Ponies are a passion of mine, and that's how my channel was going to go uh, moving forward. Obviously, it was a joke. I think a lot of people got that. Some people didn't know, believe it or not. Some people <laughs> were upset that I was only going to sell My Little Ponies. Yeah, it was all in good fun. Doug, thank you for this. That's really funny. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.